Hello, my name is Abby, and since love is in the air and Valentine's Day is coming up, we have our first installment of Dog Bite Dates. One amazing girl, Sierra, will get to pick between three eligible bachelors while not knowing who they are. The contestants get to answer three questions to show the lucky lady what they're all about. Date one, aka Jonathan Jameson, is a short king who likes to play guitar and loves cats. Meow. Date number two. Who the heck is this? Oh wait, it's Andrew Heck. He is known for being sporty, smart, and loud. Who wouldn't want that? Date number three is Jill Thies, the famous exchange student and wannabe prom queen. She's known for her curly hair and Belgian flair. Who will Sierra pick after hearing their answers? Let's go find out. I'm Jonathan Jameson, and I'm a senior. Say your name. Oh, and your grade. My, my name is Andrew Heck. I'm in 11th grade. I'm Jill, and I'm in 11th grade. Uh, my name is Sierra, and I am a junior. <laughs> and so why are you on our show with us today? Um, I don't know, just for funsies. My dream date would be at a, a really nice restaurant. Um, I don't know where, what they would serve, but it would have to be nice and expensive. <laughs> Uh, maybe somewhere at the beach, and it is in the summer. Um, fancy restaurants are absolutely terrifying. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Describe your dream date. My dream date would be going to Six Flags Fright Fest and spending the evening with whoever the lucky lady is, scaring her. Assuming they're into Halloween, and I absolutely love Halloween. Watching the stars on the beach while the sun goes down. Wait, that's not that's not gonna work. <laughs> watch the sunset and then watch the stars. Beach sounds a little funny, I guess. After a long deliberation, Sierra has finally figured out who she wants to go on her blind date with. Let's hear it. Who do you choose for your date? <laughs> date number two. <gasps> we are so excited for Andrew and Sierra. Now it's time for the long-awaited date. Let's go see how it goes. That was, well, that it, was folks. it, folks. Weren't they, Weren't so, they so cute? cute? Happy Valentine's Day to all the couples, couples out there. there. Alice, Alice, single, single people, too. If you want to see more, we'll make another installment next month for Dog Bite. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Peppers from the School Counseling uh, Office and got a few announcements that we want to make sure that everybody's aware of for the next coming weeks. Um, one of the main things, the class of 2023, if you're a third year student, you haven't made your junior meeting yet, you need to jump into one of those. Uh, otherwise, we'll be calling you up at a random time just to speak about it. So uh, that is a meeting between counselor and student. Hopefully if parents can come, um, we really kind of scale out everything that you need that's left for graduation and uh, set up your success for after high school. Uh, one of the next things is that if you're interested in dual enrollment, um, there's a mandatory meeting happening tomorrow, February 24th, here at Windebar High School's uh, cafeteria. We'll be discussing the dual enrollment process, everything that's new. So if you are a, you know, new to dual enrollment and you want to have that on your schedule for next year, the summer, fall, or next spring, you got to come uh, to Windebar High School tomorrow, get that information um, at 6 p.m. One of the other things uh, kind of new and developing is level up nights. So February 28th, uh, this kind of replaces the course reveal nights. February 28th is rising 9th through 10th grade um, night. You can come attend, look at your course requests um, that have uh, been put in for you, make any necessary changes that you feel um, are needed. Uh, you can sit for the rising 9th grade info session, ask questions about dual enrollment, honors and AP, uh, get a tour of the building plus free food. And then March 1st will be for uh, rising juniors and seniors. Here again, you can get your course requests. You can make any changes necessary, ask questions about honors and AP tracks, um, as well as get free food. Seniors, uh, listen up. Credit reviews um, and our letters that we, that we uh, generate will be coming out in these next coming weeks. So 
administrators and counselors will meet with you to discuss everything that's required um, of you to graduate, as well as kind of just do that overall checkpoint for you all. So just be here and be ready for that. Then lastly, for seniors again, there's going to be a mini Apply to College Week within the next coming, coming weeks. March 15th through the 18th, uh, counselors are already getting some colleges to come on campus, have you apply to their schools for free, and they'll help you out with that, as well as um, on March 19th, it's a Saturday, we'll continue with those applications as well as have FAFSA experts in the building to help you uh, complete the free application for federal student aid. So students and families are welcome at that event, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. here on campus um, in the Winterbury High School Media Center. So just come on in. Uh, if you need some help on these last little decisions uh, for your plan as far as after graduation, just let us know. We'll see you soon. Hello, Winder Bear High School. This is another fun-filled Ask Mr. C. We'll call this one the College Experience Edition. This is going out to Morgan K. Keller, who I've known since she was itty-bitty. She asked me this question, and I turned it into a, an Ask Mr. C. She basically asked me if I had any advice about college, specifically, how do you get a college roommate? What, what, what are you really looking for? So I have a lot to say about this, having gone to a couple of colleges and had some roommates that worked out well and worked out not so well. First thing is this, um, being a roommate is a lot like any other skill in this world. You're not gonna be very good at it at first. It takes time for you to learn how to be a good roommate. I know that sounds weird, but it's the truth, okay? So I don't recommend staying with friends, people that you know, because believe it or not, you're going to treat a stranger better than one of your friends. And what do I mean by that? If you've known Billy your whole life, you'd be like, oh, Billy won't mind if I borrow this. Billy won't mind if I you know, do this, when in reality, Billy does mind. And yet you being friends, it might cause some awkward tension. That's why I think you'll just treat a stranger better. Now I know technology has probably taken this a little bit differently, but my advice to you on roommate is this. Don't lie, don't embellish the truth on the forums. Be very, very, very truthful. There are three big pitfalls that I've seen have caused college roommates to have problems. The first one is cleanliness, and that one's not really gonna show up in any form or any kind of questionnaire they give you, but they're trying to make sure that they match you with someone that you're gonna be successful with. They don't want problems in their dorm rooms. They want you to graduate from that university. And remember, when you're at a university, you look to your left, you look to your right at that freshman orientation, and chances are one of you won't be there for a variety of reasons. People drop out of college all the time. So if they can help you find a good roommate, they want to do that. So cleanliness, that one's not going to show up. But the two that should be on any kind of form you do is if you're a morning person or if you're a night person. If you know you're going to get up bright early in the morning, have all your classes done by one in the afternoon, admit that. If you know you're going to be out all night and go to your classes and start them at noon and be done for your classes at five, admit that. Morning risers and late nighters don't usually work out very well together. The other one is whether or not you want people to show up at your dorm room or not. Be truthful on this. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want a bunch of strangers showing up every single day, put that down. I'm sure that's going to be represented somewhere on one of those forms. I was the kind of person that would bring home a hobo if they'd let me, okay? I'll have anyone come visit me and hang out. A lot of people don't like that. So just be truthful and I try to avoid any interpersonal conflict. Uh, the second piece of advice I can give you about college is introduce yourself to your professors. I went to the University of Georgia for part of my undergraduate. I had classes with 100, 200, 300 people in the classes. I've also had classes where the numbers are like 20, 25 people. So I recommend to you is introduce yourself to your professors. They're going to give you a syllabus on day one and let you know when those office hours are. Go introduce yourself during those office hours. You learn a lot of interesting information. Sometimes I've had professors tell me that, hey, you know, I don't actually give testing material from anything I talk about in class. That's just discussions. All of the testing material will be from your reading. And I've had professors tell me the exact opposite. Hey, I'm not doing anything from the reading. It's all about what happens in class. That's going to be on your tests. You go in and you ask, hey, what do you expect? What are you going to be testing on? And they want to get to know you, believe it or not. And out of a class of 300, as strange as this sounds, barely any kids take this opportunity to introduce themselves. And you need to do this okay and remember college you might have a class that literally only has two or three grades okay and making sure you get really high marks on those grades will determine if you're gonna pass that class or not so introduce yourself number three it's gonna sound strange okay but I took some pictures you need to look right here read the walls what do I mean by that these pictures I took at University of Georgia this happens at any college in America I promise you they post stuff 
all over the walls. These pictures I've taken from the Hodgkin School of Music at UGA where my son's taking guitar lessons right now. There are things on these walls that show you concerts coming up, neat opportunities to earn money, part-time jobs, um, places people are going, all kinds of interesting things. Stop your busy life and actually read the walls at college. You have no idea the amazing things you'll find that are just listed there. Everything from people needing roommates, for travel ideas, for vacation plans, to all kinds of awesome things happening. You have no idea what you can find by stopping and reading the walls. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. There's gonna be big common area ones where they have all kinds of things about football games, and they're gonna have little small ones that just be about the actual school of music or the astronomy school or science school, or whatever. So stop and read the walls. Please keep your questions coming. I love answering them and I'll see you next week or next month. I don't even know when on the next Ask Mr. C. Woo!